seems to like it. Looks like it's headed for the green. On the green, and looking at a birdie opportunity. Now this for birdie came away with par in the previous round. Very well done, almost made it. Yeah, there'll be no stress for the next one. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. That is a solid par putt right there. Par 4 11, 443 yards. What's the best strategy here, Frank? Somehow find the fairway, Rich. This is brutal. Miss it left or miss it right. But uh, it's Florida. Fairways are wide enough, soft enough. But um, a good tee shot. Still going to leave you a lengthy second. One hundred sixty yards away. This is the second shot. Oh no! Look out, Frank. I think he flushed that one. Oh, this is this is going, going, gone. Wow! Lucky break right there, Frank. Wow. That's what everyone else is going to say, except him. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Frankie took plenty of time on this birdie putt. He looked at it from three different angles. He forgot one very important ingredient. Yeah, pace. You can definitely fall in love with the line, even with approach shots as well, but obviously we see it more on putting. Good putt. Par 512 here at the Wetlands Golf and Country Club is 576 yards. First par five on this backside. Game's about rhythm. It, when you have good rhythm, it just looks effort, effortless. To hit the ball 300 yards through the air, that easy. Looks like he's going to have a go at it here at the par five. His second shot. Ready for his third shot, needs to hit this close. And it makes the green in regulation. And yet another birdie, this time inching into the top five. Here we go at the par 4th, 13th, 452 yards. What's the best angle of attack? Um, the straight line really is the, is the best way here, like a lot of holes on the golf course. But straight, as we know, is not often easy. Fairway does start to widen up the further out there you get it. So for the longer hitters, this hole actually plays relatively easy. For the shorter hitters in that narrow area, that'll leave you a lengthy second shot where you just might have to bisect the two front greenside bunkers. Settles in, looking to knock it in tight. Frank, he's cranking it and banking it. Giant drives, a boatload of birdies. What a round. Yeah, these are the days you just dream for. Um, we know golf's not that easy. But on a day like today, savor it and just keep going. Keep doing it. Beautiful shot. That is tight. Unbelievable. That is one to savor for the rest of the round. Just continuing to play some really good golf. Eight under par for the championship. Moving on to the tricky 14th here at the Wetlands. It's 204 yards, but there is plenty of trouble out there. I like the looks of this one. Midway through this back nine could use this birdie here at the 14th. Made a par in his previous round. This time, it's for birdie. Frank, this game will drive you crazy. 
Yeah, you can do all so many things right, and then just something so simple, completely wrong. Frank, how does that part help his cause? It certainly doesn't hurt it. Final par five on the backside here at the wetlands. It's 590 yards. Which is really a tempting yardage. A good tee shot, perhaps. Think of reaching the par five and two. But uh, this green, well protected by three bunkers. Two on the left side and one short right. But, uh, hey, fortune favors the brave. At least that's what I was told. Not the longest, but not bad. 295 yards in the fairway. Now the second shot to the par five. Frank, you hate to miss the green on a par five with your third shot. Well, they say par fives are the uh, easiest holes to birdie, but the hardest holes to make four. Making a six, though, well, that certainly sets yourself backwards. So tough up and down. This one just requires a little bit of focus. There you have it. Well done. Great So through 54 holes, a really good position inside the top five with one round to go. Yeah, and those handful of players that we're looking at, Rich, um, they certainly have looked the best players this week, uh, which makes tomorrow look like a real thriller. EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live final round coverage of the BioWare Classic. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Well, this one should be safely on deck here. Oh, can't hide the flag stick from that man. And this will be a five-foot putt here. That's what you want to see right now, right there. Great birdie. Time running out, but still, he could get the job done. We'll see. Appears to be a smart shot, Frank. Yeah, no problem here. That's going to fly all the way. So a chance for birdie after another solid approach shot. Birdie here yesterday. This putt again for birdie. Wrong time to be leaking oil here at the 14th hole, Frank. Well, to state the obvious, too, that was very makeable. That's the one you'd expect to make more often than not. That's going to hurt. In for par.
Good lie in the fairway. Good chance to make something happen here. Well, this is the kind of strong wind that will really test the player. That's an absolute beauty. Now his third, staring right at the green. On the green, and a chance for Bird. See if he can go one better than yesterday when he made par. This putt for Birdie. Racking him and stacking him. That's 12 under par now for the tournament. He makes a great pass at the golf ball. It's powerful, but it's rhythmic at the same time. We have about 145 yards left here. Seems to like it. I'm headed for the fat part of the green. That will be a great look at birdie. Been pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Not a huge miss, Frank, but did lose this just a little to the right. Yeah, it looks like it's going to catch a piece of the green, though. Not terrible, but not his best. Yeah, outside chance, really, for, uh, for Birdie, but um, really, it was a, a rather poor approach shot. Frank, he might like this one. He might like... Oh, he's going to love it, Frank. Well, Birdie's a hard to come by in this situation. So tight keeps him right in the thick of it. Yeah, that was a little over ambitious. He'll need to be strong with this. So the second of the par four goes begging and now I'll have to rely on the short game. Yeah, but a short game, as we all know, can uh, redeem a lot of mistakes. Let's see if he does it here. What a nice shot. Right on the green and a pretty easy putt on the way. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Oh, that was nasty. That's an outrage right there. I mean, if there's a high commission of, of golfdom, we need to consult them right now because it's just simply not fair, Frank. It's not. I think the people above are frowning and the people below. Gives up a shot and moves down to second place. Bounce back time. So another tournament in the books, Frank, and what'd you make of this one? Quality venue, once again, uh, Rich, the standards of uh, standard of courses we're seeing is, is excellent. And, and consequently, it's enabling the players to really play some great golf. So I, I think uh, golf's the winner today.